This tutorial is about how to use tanks in Enlisted Tunisia campaign. Now, of course, this is what you don't want to do. You see how this guy uses this as a demolition derby car? That's the first tip you don't want to do. You don't want to use it as a battering ram. Now, notice that it can be knocked out quite easily at close range. Anything, anywhere you shoot, it's going to pierce it. So this guy was doing it all wrong. And we'll get back to that later of why you don't want to do that. But I see a lot of people playing this game and using tanks like that. They're using them like uh, Wreckfest or something like that. And that's not how they should be used. In this role, what's really interesting is that tanks are used as infantry support, just like they were in world, early World War II. The, the primary emphasis is on infantry support, and that's how it's designed in this game. This is not World of Tanks. Your job is not to be tank hunting or anything like that. Your job is to support infantry. So therefore, let the infantry go ahead of you like I'm doing right here. And your objective is to determine where your guys are and where the enemy is. See, my guys are on the left and they're behind me, so I'm going to cover the right side. I'm going to try to slice this street in half so the left side is ours, and I'm going to cover it with my machine gun. Now, what happens a lot of times is the enemy will try to flank you, and tanks are very easy to destroy in this game because all they got to do is run up and throw a a charge or something like that or a Molotov cocktail on you and you're done and they can do it from the roof over there so I see my partner up there and what I'm trying to do is to cover this building make sure nobody comes out of there and runs behind him and tries to suicide kill him anything like that now seeing that he's got that my job is going to be to cover this flank on this side so this is important too because if you don't cover this side the enemy will come out on this side get on top of the building and throw uh, whatever they have at you and destroy or disable your tank and killing them very very easily you might have done it and you see how easy this is so think about uh, as if you were assaulting a tank what you would do and where you would go see I'm looking up there I can see the roofs and I can see all this so your job with the infantry support vehicle like this is to stay at a standoff distance you don't want to get too close you want to let infantry have a clear path to advance and what I'm going to do here is use the machine gun to lay down suppressive fire like this. And once the enemy sees this suppressive fire, they're going to be a little more hesitant to jump out in the middle of the open. And that's all I have to do is just keep firing and firing. The AI, on the other hand, isn't quite so smart. It'll just run out there and let you kill every single one of them. So just keep laying down suppressive fire like this. You're creating basically like an invisible wall that makes it very difficult for the enemy to attack. Now they can of course have another tank and come in at you, but this is a better way to do it. Just stay back here because the other tanks, they know better and they're not going to come straight down that alley, otherwise they're dead. You might have seen me pop a shot in the windows up there and always do that just to keep them honest. Sometimes you throw around in each window just to let the guys know that you're there. And if they are in there, the explosive will... Uh, high explosive shot will damage them. When you see a, another enemy tank, you want to use armor piercing. Now the next thing I want to talk about is driving this tank. It's a little tricky if you're not used to it. You can drive it two ways. One, you can look down um, the barrel like this as the commander and you can keep that orientated to the front and move the body with using your A and D keys to line up with it. That's a good way to do it. Otherwise you can uh, move the tank, the body, and then move it onto the map where you want to be and then keep your gun facing another way the turret i mean now see right here i'm staying back here laying down suppressive fire covering this area it's gonna be very difficult for the enemy to come out and laying down some shots there they go they're coming right across there and if you lay this down like that the guy sees it out there they're not going to come out and if they do they're going to get killed and you don't have to kill all of them you just have to weaken them enough and once they're spotted there goes boom so i've suppressed them enough and i've done my job and when you do this you're gonna win and this is how you win as a tanker you come in and you offer suppressive fire when they are entrenched or when they are for example look at this crazy guy right here look what he's trying to do and when they are trying to uh hunker down on like a bunker you put a round right through the window or the slit and you get them look at this okay now watch that he threw a grenade right there see when as soon as you see that you need to back up because watch this grenade is going to go up and it creates a big explosion so whenever you see something like that back up as quick as you can now you can see the range at which he could toss that grenade see how far it is and people will say oh you're staying too far back you're being a pussy about it but no if i was up here i'd be dead because there ain't no way you're going to get away from that he'll disable your tank and then it's done 
So anyway, that's why I recommend staying back here. Let the infantry go forward, support them on their drive forward. I'm gonna show you a couple more examples of what else to do and how to use this. Tunisia map is very, very interesting because there's not as much cover on there. You have to be a little careful right here. Okay, so now in this situation, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna assault the position quite differently than we normally do. But once again, the same thing is we're looking at these streets and we're looking at slicing these streets in half. Okay, see how I orientate the gun to where I wanna go and I move the body of the tank to follow me. And so I see my guy over there, my men are on the right, so that means I need to cover the left side over here and we're gonna be moving up on the, uh, the objective spot. We're winning, so in this point, you can move in the tank for very, very close support. And I'm gonna move up here and we need to just eliminate as much as many of these guys as, as we can, get on the cap spot. So at this point, you can do it. And when this happens, you wanna do something a little different. Make sure you have HE loaded because you're gonna be fighting close. And I mean really close, and it's gonna be very, very difficult to fight these guys. Look at how they're just spawning right here. So when this happens, shoot at the ground right in front of them. Let the HE blow up and kill them. See the blast, kills them like that. Now he dropped the grenade, which is gonna damage my tracks. And just go ahead and keep shooting him like this. You wanna shoot at the ground. Don't try to actually hit him. Just shoot real close to him with HE and that'll take him out. Okay, so that's what you do if you have to fight him that way. Okay, in this situation, it's gonna be a little different. We got a little tank on tank fighting. When this kind of thing happens, you're gonna see the tracers of his machine gun coming down. When this kind of happens, you have to be really ready because these other tanks, if they're good tankers, like this guy is quite good here. See, he's behind the telephone pole. He's using a lot of cover. It's gonna be difficult to hit him, but I'm able to hit him. There we go, I disable him, and you notice how my body is at a slight angle. You wanna do this all the time. You wanna angle the body just a few degrees because what happens when you angle it is very difficult for them to penetrate you. So he can hit you all, the, all he wants, but he can't do a lot of damage. And I just keep up the pressure and pounding him because when you keep doing this, it's gonna make his screen shake. And there we go, got one kill. And if you wanna get a better shot, you can actually switch to the gunner position. But in this case, I'd rather lay down the shots and switch to the gunner position because that may be my last shot. And finally, I get some shots on him. And that is that. As we move down the street, and once again, the thing is, is my guys are on the left, so I'm watching the right side of the map, and I see a tank, see somebody has marked it, and I'm gonna lay around right into the tank, and try to get him like this. Side shots are really good to get, and the only way you're gonna get these kind of shots if you are in standoff distance like this. If you're right up on him, and he's got that armor car, he can kind of run around you and run circles at you. Okay, so there we go. Let's try to make a good shot on this guy, and there we go, we got a good shot right there. He's on fire and he is out. Remember, we're covering the right side of the road here. So we wanna back up and keep this standoff distance right here. We wanna see if any guys are coming out and there they are. What do you know? And there we go, we're firing our machine gun. We're gonna lay down a wall of lead and our other guy, he's gonna go right through here. He's just gonna bonsai and run through everybody right here. But once again, if another guy is running through there, don't just let him go. Try to cover his uh, back, his flanks, or the rear side, because a lot of times you'll see guys come run right behind him, right in front of you, but behind him. By you covering him like this, it's very difficult for them to do that. They see one tank, two tanks, they can't take out the first tank, and they're gonna try to come up, and you can shoot them. Sometimes you see guys jump on top, just machine gun them right off. Your job is to support not only your infantry, but to support your tanks. Now, you're gonna see what I do right here. As he gets up here, he's gonna make a turn towards the objective. Am I gonna make a turn? No. I'm gonna stay here and hold the position, and you see why, see what's coming up the hill here? Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna help, and we secured the flanks right here. Let's make a shot, turret shot right in there. Looks like we hit him there, and we're gonna need a couple of shots, sometimes a few shots. We killed one guy, which is very, very good and we're gonna fire another shot. And there you go, he's firing at us with his little gun, his PP gun, and we're just gonna keep firing, just keep laying shots into them. You see what happens when he hit us with a machine gun, our screen goes blurry. But sooner or later, we're gonna get through with him right there. He can run, but you can't hide. And that's how you get that guy. So this is why you cover the flanks like this. Support your team and be a good tanker. Don't just run up there. Second thing is this is a little difficult situation. What happens in this situation is it's hard to see the enemy down there because you got a bunch of wreckage and all that. But remember, your goal is to once again support the infantry. So proceed down the street like this and be ready. 
be ready. They, the tanks could be coming out everywhere. And what I like to do in this situation is proceed very, very, very slowly, but use a gunner sight because as you can see here, if people come out like that guy, they're going to be right on the edge like that. And there we go. Laid around in there. It didn't do a whole lot of damage, but they're going to come in just like that. And that's the thing about it. They're going to peek out, pop a shot, back up. Now, as you can see, our infantry is moving up. So we're going to continue to uh, cover this lane. If he pops out, I'm going to shoot him again. And also, we have fire from the left side now. Now you can see there's another tank way down there. Way, way down there. But we got him. No problem at all. And see how I have a tank on my left and I'm just coming in between these two tanks. And that's it. Now this guy over here, we're going to lay down a little fire here because we don't want anybody sneaking around. Once again, I'm supporting my advance like this. There we go. Got another guy laying down machine gun fire. This suppresses him. It causes him to go back. And I have a tank in front of me to act as protection at the same time. Dead tank, that is. So once again, keep laying this down. There goes this pesky guy. He's peeking it out. He's playing that game. And uh, yep, look at this guy. Look at him. He's smart because he's angled on top of that look at that angled angled and I just got to try to kill him it's going to be difficult to kill him because a lot of the tanks are pretty balanced at this level although as allies I prefer the British because the Germans they only get the Puma which isn't so great there it goes here comes some more fire coming in and we got to aim and aim and this is difficult see he's shooting machine guns and machine guns is blurring our screen so it's difficult to make good shots on there but we can fire back and at least kill some guys and now he reveals this spot better look at this guy he's quite good he's just peeking out just a little bit but since my tank notice the body is angled i'm gonna win this because he can shoot me a whole bunch of times but it's not gonna do a whole lot of damage to me and even though he killed one person we're gonna fix his wagon just like that it just takes a few shots to get this guy okay so after he's done what you want to go back to your doing is notice on top up left there you see guys up there they're running around and we need to get those guys off there because they have free shots on our guys so once again the general rule support your guys out there when you get out there be a good tanker don't run up there and use the streets kind of like how i'm doing on other maps it's different i'll make other videos for that thanks for watching guys and i hope you have fun doing this and hope you help your team win more because we need more of this uh, instead of just running right up there. Thanks for watching.